So guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs. Big, big game this evening. St. Patrick's Athletic against Shamrock Rovers. Big South Dublin derby. Rovers know with a win, they can win the title officially. Um, a draw, it's likely to win it. They've got, you know what I mean, nearly both hands on it. But a win guarantees them winning the title. St. Patrick's Athletic, of course, will not want Shamrock Rovers to win the title, particularly at Richmond Park. Um, if Pats win, they have an outside chance of actually lifting it themselves. So it's a big game. It's an interesting game. Uh, both teams in relatively good form for this one. Looking forward to it now, guys. I'm going to go with a one-all draw, though. See you in there. What's the score going to be? 4-1. What? 4-1. 4 to Pats. 2-0. 2, -nil. Two -nil Rovers. Oh, dear.
So guys, just saying from Richmond Park, where it finished St. Patrick's Day, nailed Shamrock Rovers too. Shamrock Rovers are the four-time champions of the Premier Division. Four times in a row, that is. Uh, they've equaled their record. It's an amazing achievement. It's very tough to win a title, let alone win four in a row. Um, I think Rovers fans will feel that probably this was the least impressive of the four, which I'd have to say it was. I think points total-wise it was as well. Um, but they got the job done, and I think tonight's game summed up the season in many ways. I think where Rovers not overly impressive, controlled things in general, but no one really good enough really to take advantage. To be honest, of um, them say struggling a bit by their standards in the last four years of the season in the league. I think there's no doubt about that. Um, and no one's been good enough to take advantage and. You know, that paid into the game a bit tonight as well. I think they controlled the game, Rovers, first half even enough. But um, I think it was Aaron Green who got the first goal. It was hard to see. Him or Kavanagh were very close, but uh, possibly disappointed with the way they gave it away. Second goal then, um, I was supposed to be disappointed with that one as well, where Norman tries to clear, comes off Bourke, he runs on. And, uh, you know, to be fair, uh, great composure, take it around Linus and score, make it 2-0 and send uh, Shamrock Rovers fans into raptures. Uh, it really is an amazing achievement uh, for Bradley. Brilliant for him as well to equal that record, and particularly with um, you know all the issues with his son, etc. It's um, that wouldn't have been easy to say the least to come through all that and to achieve all that. A fair play to him. Fair play to him. I often see people moan and say that ah, Rovers with the money, this, that, and the other. Um, it's what you do with that money, and you know. Five or six years ago, you know, they brought in a lot of players that were not seen as stars at the time when they brought them in. There's this perception that Rovers bring in all the stars ahead of everybody else. They bring in one or two stars now, but that wasn't the case. And they're very shrewd and brought in the right type of players and built this up. 
and you may have the money as well but you have to you have to spend it well and you know the overall structures of a club has to be good and the recruitment it's the massive thing has to be good and their recruitment overall in the last maybe even longer than that has been very very good um and as I say, fair play to him. Be interested to see what Stephen does now. Will he stay on? Will he move on? Um, I think he's challenged the board a little bit. So be interested to see what happens there. Um, and if they can kick on again. But it's up to the rest to catch up. The rest the, the rest have to be able to catch up. Um, your Derrys, your Pats, your Bowes, whoever it is, Dundalk, uh, Shelburne, who are progressing well, I think. It's up to them to catch up. And um, they do have the means to be able to do that, the other clubs. But as I said, it's all about recruitment and getting recruitment right. And Rovers have done that brilliantly. And fully deserve to win the league again. Despite not being overall, overall impressive this season the league, they have still deserve to win the league. So once again, huge congratulations to Shamrock Rovers. Pats have a cup final to look forward to now. Um, and I would suggest there might be a few rested for Derry next week in that one. But... Um, Massive congratulations to Shamrock Rovers. They did tip them win the title at the start of the season. I think at Derry's second and Pat's third, funnily enough. I have to look at that again. Shelburne sneaking up into fourth now um, in a very good position going into the last game. But leave the vlog there, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're a Rovers fan, you must be delighted. Uh, if you're a Pat's fan, a little bit disappointed, but cup final to look forward to. Good night. See you later.